How's it going there everyone, this is Justin from Snazzy Labs and this is the video review of MetroTwit, which is a new Twitter client for Windows. So as you can tell by the title, MetroTwit, it's a Metro style application, so it very much mimics uh, new applications coming out for Windows Phone 7 and that'll come out for Windows 8. And it's very nice looking and very minimalist. So let's go over some of the features. Uh, one of the greatest features about MetroTwit is it's very customizable. So uh, to show you that, let's go into settings and we'll go into display. And you can change from a light theme and a dark theme. Let's change to the light one. Please wait by, while the pixels get undressed. That's funny. And you can also change the uh, a custom color for the uh, accent. So we'll change that to blue. And that just takes a second. And as you can see, it's blue now. So that's really nice. There's also some other things such as syncing with your Windows phone and stuff like that. But we're just going to leave that alone and focus on the core uh, usability of the application. So right here you can see it's a very panel-like uh, application. You can see all of your uh, friends tweets right there and you can see all of your mentions right there. But also you can add different panels. So uh, I can add direct messages but I can also add public tweets, favorite tweets, my tweets, my retweets. So let's just do that. It's taking just a second to all come up there. But you can see all my retweets there, and now it's going to give you, me all the notifications from those because I haven't quote unquote read them yet. Um, but you can see all those all come in, and you can see this little bar up here. As I'm holding, on, or as I have my mouse over this notification right here, it's paused. But if I take it off of it, you can see that goes down like that, and then it'll finally go away. But I can also just X out of it myself. So as you can see right here, it'll show you how many new tweets that you have not read. I can right click that and just say mark all as read so I won't get any more notifications about those. Um, also in addition, I can do some other stuff. So right here I can see my own uh, profile, so I can click that and I'll be able to see all of my tweets and some information about my Twitter account. Uh, also I can pin this, so I can pin it as its own column which will take a second and so you can add as many of these columns as you like and there's some other cool things you can do with that which I'll also show you. Uh, right here is your list, and I don't have any, so that's not really going to do you any good because it's just going to come up with nothing. Um, also, you can refresh, and there's really nothing to refresh right now, but whenever you do do that, you can see that there's that little white line that goes across, and that's present throughout the entire uh, interface of this application. Right here, you can tweet, so I'll just say hello, and I'm probably annoying the crap out of my followers because I've done this like literally 6,000 times. But in order to tweet out, you can either press enter or, or press this update button. And you can see right here we have this uh, really big and nice uh, count for how many characters you've done. So we'll just click enter. And it's going to show that little thing. And you can see it pop up right there. Um, oh, I said hello. I can also just right click and delete that or retweet it or do anything I want. But I'll delete it because I don't want everyone to be annoyed. So in addition to that, I can... Um, I can do anything I want. <laughs> so I can reply to all if I just hover over something. So let's reply. And I can say something like, hello. But I'm not going to do that. Or I can retweet. So I'll retweet that. Actually, I think I just retweeted my own retweet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, retweet fail this hour. Retweeting. Yeah. So it's obviously realizing that I'm being stupid right now. But anyway, you can retweet just the same. Over here, uh, we can search Twitter for anything. So we can search for people, but also we can search for trends, or we can search for mentions of someone, or, yeah. So let's search for mm, Snazzy Labs. And uh, we can see all of the things that uh, have to do with Snazzy Labs. So we can see anybody that's mentioned Snazzy Labs, anybody uh, that Snazzy Labs has mentioned, or any tweets that Snazzy Labs obviously has tweeted. You can also uh, pin as a column, as you could do with almost anything in this application. So right here, anytime somebody mentions Snazzy Labs or when Snazzy Labs mentions somebody else, I'll get a notification, which is pretty nice because I want to be able to keep up with Snazzy Labs since I write for Snazzy Labs. You know, I think I've said Snazzy Labs in this video more than I've ever said it before in my life, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, we can X out of this. Also, we can search for uh, specific people, so let's search for... Uh, I was just watching one of their videos, so let's do Jack's Films. He's a hilarious YouTuber. I would highly suggest that you check him out. But anyway, it's, it's basically the same as looking at my own profile. You can see all the information on him and all of his tweets there, and I can also pin him there. And also, you can look at Twitter trends, but for some reason, I uh, every time I've tried this, it hasn't worked. So I think that's something that's going to have to be fixed, which is one of the uh, cons right away I'm going to talk about 
about this application is that it's kind of buggy. It's uh, right now I believe it's still in beta, so it could use some work. I've had it crash a few times, and uh, what's really weird is every time I quit out of the application, it uh, it refreshes this um, notification. You know, this one notification up here. So I can uh, I can mark all this red, but when I close out of it and, and open it back up, it'll just give me a bunch of notifications again, like I hadn't marked them as red. So then that, that's another weird thing about it. Another really cool thing about it that I completely forgot was uh, being able to view conversations, which is something that you can't do in the normal uh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter client, uh, the web application. So let's go and uh, view the conversation right here between me and my friend Kevin. Uh, by the way, check out his channel at... Uh, youtube.com slash I could app that he makes really good videos but anyway so uh, I was just testing out this application before and I said hi and he said hi and then you know so I was talking to him about it but it's really nice because you can see you know the way the conversation goes with a lot of stuff Ob on, uh, obviously you can't uh, pin this but you can see that right from there and pops it up really nicely so anyway that's been Metro Twit like I said it's a very awesome application with a very nice design a very customizable design it has a really a bunch of really awesome features like being able to follow people um, more in depth by pinning them and checking out uh, who's mentioned them also but in addition like I said before there's also a lot of cons because it is still in beta mode it there are some bugs with it it does crash and sometimes this count refreshes itself uh, and it's kind of annoying but anyway, uh, I give MetroTwit 4 out of 5, and uh, you can check out my writing for this, or my write-up for this review at snazzylabs.com. Many of you will be watching it from that article, which uh, I thank you. But if not, go check that out, and until next time, stay snazzy. I'm not sure if I can say that, but I said it, so stay snazzy. See ya.